All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I know I said that I needed to stand up in this office, but nuts to that. Why am I using my legs like a chump when I can just as comfortably sit down in this office? But anyway, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me again. I have a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today. It's this little atomizer on top of here, manufactured by Watofo, designed by Mike Vapes. It's the Recurve. It is just a banging little RSA that I have completely, completely, and thoroughly, 100, 100%ly really enjoyed using. But in order to get to know this atomizer just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close, as we often do. That's right, quick short up, be closey time, uh, now go. <laughs> All right, yeehaw. Well, this is the Recurve RDA. We're just gonna be talking about it from top to bottom. We're gonna wick it up. Let's start off with the 510 pin on the bottom. Very protruding and static 510 pin. It's got a hole right through the center for squonking and it's branded on the bottom. Recurve, Mike Vapes, Watofo, all the things. And there's your deck right there. It's really just a single coil deck. There's Phillips head screws on the side to secure your leads down in there. This is your airflow. This is these dots right here are gonna coincide with these dots on the outer cap of it. Really very simple to install a coil. I did it on my first try. I just kind of pre-clipped my leads, dropped it in there, screwed down the screws, and boom, that's it. That's exactly what you're going for. You just want a little coil kind of hovering in this little cradle of airflow and squonkiness. Two big O-rings on the bottom hold everything together real secure, and you're going to see a little ditch right here. You can kind of see the elevation of the atomizer change between this section and this section. There's kind of this little ditch right here and then it raises back up on this side. If I could get it in focus. Anyway, that's how your AFC is going to work. There's two little tabs on the inside that kind of go in this little ditch right here. It'll all make sense once I get it on a mod. As far as the top cap goes, it's just a one piece top cap. It's got that smaller sized deck and thicker, thicker outer top cap. Maybe similar to some other RDAs I've already used. <laughs> ah, I'm just giving you a hard time, Mike. But this is great. This works great. These airflow holes line up really insanely well. It truly and honestly could not be easier to wick either. I don't even need a music montage for this. I'm just going to take a strip of Kogendo Japanese organic cotton. I'm literally just going to roll it up a little bit and roll up one side specifically to fit through here. Grab it through, pull it through on the other side. You want to feel some nice resistance so it's fit and snug in there. Trim off one side, trim off the other side. Then I just kind of use my thumb and my scissors to kind of just bend and press the wicks down into place. One side, the other side. And just like that, you got a wicked recurve RDA. So this isn't something you're going to be able to see visually, but there are two little tabs on the inside of this top cap, and those two little tabs, like I said, travel right along here, right along these wick areas right here. Sorry, that was way out of focus. <laughs> but those little tabs, they travel in this little trough right here, so all you really have to do is see your airflow, line up your airflow, you're gonna feel those tabs kind of fall into place and then you can adjust your airflow like this and it stops in the farthest away position and it stops in the most full open position. And again, it's not something you can visually see, but it's something you can physically feel. That is closed off, click, that is open. And those stops are also on there so that you can twist this, that's gonna close off your air airflow completely. And then if you keep turning, boom, just takes your atomizer right off of your mod. And the same thing goes for screwing it down. You screw it down, you're gonna hit it, you're gonna feel the airflow open, and then you can kinda boop, 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 just crank it down and make it nice and snug. You're not relying on the O-rings to unscrew this atomizer from your mod. You're relying on those little tabs, which I think is a great feature. Uh, this might be hard to do on video, especially with this camera angle, but this has some really sweet squonk and action. When you squeeze your bottle, this chamber's just gonna flood with juice, and it's gonna go all all up over these airflow holes and it almost seems like it's gonna flood. It almost seems like the juice is just gonna come out of your airflow holes. But because of the way that the airflow holes are spaced, the surface tension of the liquid actually kind of prevents it from leaking. And when you have the top cap on here, that's a further barrier to prevent that leaking. You can aggressively squonk the F out of this, flood this chamber with wick, uh, you know, flood this chamber with liquid, get your wicks all wet, get your coils all all wet and beautiful, and the damn thing just doesn't leak. It's 
kind of an amazing design. I'm gonna see if you can see this if I squonk it. How should I hold this? What's the best way to hold this? I need to hold it vertically. Maybe I can do it at a little bit of an angle, but boom, you see that liquid coming up right along the sides right there? Boom, let's see it again. Now these are completely dry wicks, so it's gonna take a little bit. I normally wouldn't do this. I would just use the bottle to wet the wicks, but squeeze it again. Boom, you see all that juice come up and then just disappear again and none of it came out of the airflow holes. Let's give it one last squonk. Whoop, boom, just like that. This is a joy to squonk. It's very reassuring knowing that when you squonk it like this, even though that juice is completely covering your airflow holes, it's just not gonna leak out. And now when I press the button, we get the vapors. So let's put this all together. This is the drip tip that it came with. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a red guy looking drip tip here. I also came with this little smoky one, which is kind of cool. Fit and finish is real nice. It is 810 compatible, so most any 810 drip tips are going to fit in here. Even, you know, if you're into it, an Ultim one will fit in there as well. And then those DHD nub tips fit in there real well. It is very snug to get in and out these DHD tips, but they hold on real secure. You're not really going to be able to see it, but there's like a little, little tiny like little hairline gap around these DHD nub tips. You kind of see as I push it up and down, it's just because of the O-rings on the tip. They hold on secure, but there's going to be a little gap. Just as a heads up if you own a lot of nub tips like I do. Now before we get back out to normal view and vape this guy, you're going to get a lot of packets of uh, comp wire, and these all do not have wire in them. One of them does have wick and wire in it. Nope, this one just has wick. This next one here probably has the wire. Yep, you get three big sort of uh, frame staple looking guys. These coils actually look much, much nicer than like 90% of the coils that come out of China. And then your last comp wire packet is basically all of your tools. In fact, it comes with one of these guys right here. This is a very handy dandy coil wrapping tool. And it also measures right here where you need to clip your leads to drop them down in there. I'm just a rebel and I eyeballed it the first time, but that's what this tool is for. So if you take one of the coils and you slide it on here, yep, clip right there. That's where you're gonna need to clip them to fit them in. Just a very nice, handy, helpful addition to the spare tools and parts that you get. Uh, spare screws, spare O-rings, another tool. And you also get a standard issue flat non-squonk 510 pin if you want to drip on this. And I don't say this very often, but the recurve is much, much, much better suited as a squonker than a dripper. So this is going back in the bag for me. Anyway, yeah, that's the recurve up close and personal. It's all built. It's all wicked. It's all juice. So what we're going to do right now is get back out to normal view and vape this thing. Banging. Oh, it's, it's such a good vape. I've got this loaded up with that Poet Sweet Black Tea Liquid and it tastes just beautiful in this atomizer, man. So first things first, let's talk about what I really like about this RDA. It is a little flavor banger. All my juices that I have tried in this atomizer all taste delicious. And again, don't build this up in your head. This isn't unbelievable flavor. This isn't like the single greatest flavor you will ever have in an atomizer. But all of my liquids do taste very flavorful in this atomizer. I really like the deck. I like this little weird cradle of airflow that Mike Vapes kind of invented. I like the little tool and you can just clip your leads and pop it down. It's real breezy, real breezy. It's real easy to install your coils. It is a breeze to wick. You see, that's where that came from. Breezy was easy and a breeze and uh, my brain just was confused. All of the aspects of this atomizer are really well thought out. It's really easy to use. I don't know if I can stress that enough. Very simple install, very simple wicking, and very simple, careless, aggressive squonking with this. You just squeeze your bottle and, and you don't even really have to worry about it flooding. I haven't been able to get this to A, flood, or B, leak on me. And I aggressively squonk this thing, and I showed you in the uppy closey. You just grab it and squeeze it. That whole chamber is just gonna get flooded with juice. It's gonna pull the juice back down. Now, right after you squonk, 
there might be just a hair of slurpiness. There might be just some molecules of liquid kind of sitting in that little airflow there. So your very first drag right after you squonk might be just a hair slurpy. It's literally just a, a skosh. Does anybody use that word anymore? Skosh. It's literally just a skosh slurpy until you get through it, until you take that first drag, and then every drag after that is just gonna be beautiful, smooth, swooshy airflow. There's no sponge effect going on in here. It doesn't feel spongy to me. It feels nice and smooth, nice and swooshy. There is zero turbulence. One con that I didn't really mention, and it's not really a con, it's definitely not a deal breaker in any way, but because of the way that the coil is positioned on this atomizer, it's it's right there. It's, it's running right down the middle. If you look through your drip tip, you'll just see the coil right there. And because of that, when you're freshly squonked on it, apart from being a little bit slurpy when you take your first drag, you are going to get eh, a fair amount of spit back on those freshly wet coil. Those freshly wet coil. Yeah, sure. It even lasts through maybe two full pulls on this before that spit back kind of goes away. This does have an adjustable airflow control, but I like to rock it full open. This is a Fiends frame staple in here. It's awesome. It's a 0.2 on the single 18650. It's very nice, very warm. The airflow, the airflow is banging on this. It's uh, 24 millimeters diameter total. So when you put it on a mod or put it on anything, it's going to be 24 millimeters around. The deck on the inside is a little bit smaller. I want to say it's like 22 millimeters maybe on the inside. I'm not DJ LSB Vapes. I don't have calipers for measuring these things, but the deck on the inside is much smaller and the housing, the cap on the outside is much bigger and it's going to end up being a, a total of 24 millimeters on whatever mod you put it on. The combination of that slightly restricted airflow, the way that the airflow is hitting your coils, and then that reduced chamber on the inside really does lead to some pretty stellar flavor on this. And I, I gotta give Mech Vapes credit for designing one hell of an RDA here. There is almost literally nothing that I want to fault this atomizer on. When I first got it, I wasn't in love with the curvy shape of it, but it's designed that way for a reason. And honestly, the curvy shape on it kind of grew on me. It's kind of a unique looking atomizer, and I really enjoy that. And, and you're not even really going to need your vape budget hands for this. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from 30 to 35 bucks. So yeah, that's, that's kind of a screaming deal, man. And, and I know I say this pretty frequently, but the $30 price point on this is almost inexpensive enough to buy it, like just to try it out. If you've been looking for like a nice low profile flavor banger, single coil RSA, the recurve is, is a whole new breed of atomizers and I like where this road is going. Now, if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game, which I left out of my last reviews, just, I mean, simply because, because I just forgot. But if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have no vape gear left, is the Recurve Atomizer something I would seek out and buy? I mean, yeah, unflinchingly. There are a lot of really high-end atomizers out there that are almost kind of similar to this, that deliver a similar sort of experience for a very high price as far as smaller, lower profile, smaller chamber, restricted airflow, just these expensive little flavor banger RDAs. And then Watofo and Mike Vapes come out with the recurve and it's almost that high-end type of experience in a much less, less, much less expensive package. Okay, I promise I'm done gushing about this thing, but Mike Vapes, you done good. Watofo, you done good. I'm a real big fan of this Recurve Atomizer. So I will put links down in the description to where you can check out this Atomizer if you are interested, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's keep on vaping.